Hello everybody, that is here, very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. Today I have a new cool gadget, AK Leak Tester. And we will look on it and also compare with another leak tester or pressure tester from Aqua Computer. I reviewed this gadget in 2016, four years ago now, and also reviewed it second time two years ago and why I continue to come back to this type of devices. The fact is when you try it you realize how stupid and how much hassle to do wet testing. First of all it's a lot of risks involved. Doesn't matter if you experienced guy, if you do it first time, it's always possibility to forget to put some stupid stop plug on the reservoir or something like this. It was many times. You do something, you disconnect, somebody calls you or distracts you. So you run whatever to do whatever is happening, come back, forget. You keep doing something else and start pouring your liquid and water is coming out. Or even if you didn't tighten enough some fitting or you forgot to install a ring somewhere. So it wouldn't be gushing water but it's still leaking and still required fixing. And doing it in a wet way it's, it's dumb. Because it's a waste of your time, you need to drain the system and uh, you know spend time on all this preparation before you can even fix it. Second, worst case scenario you actually get liquid on your motherboard so it's get into your PCI slots and something like this or get into your CPU block or, or let's say a GPU block and go between the block and card so the, you have to disassemble it to dry it it's not particular means that you pour liquid and you lose component no you test without power yes but if you actually pour enough that require drying and then it's few days and who knows how many hours of labor and wolf if you actually need to detach blood for example from GPU if water get between two I wouldn't recommend to dry it without it better to take it apart completely dry assemble back so no harm just maybe three days lost so for that reason using something like a pressure tester to pressurize your system with air and see if any escape it just removes all this potential hassle. I use Dr. Drop since 2016, I said. I never had accidents since then. Sometimes I still kind of put the towels, uh, especially when I do videos. But when I build for myself, nobody's seeing, I stop even putting any towels. Because I know if it's pressurized, tested, there will be no freaking surprises. So I think that this kind of device, it goes to your basket even before you select your CPU block or fittings. It should be number one purchase and no money saving justification can be applied here or try to borrow it from a friend, something like this. So, but enough talking about necessity. I think if you're watching this video, you're probably already thinking it's kind of maybe important things to have. I would like to compare those two, especially because this is four or five years old device. This is was released 2000. 18, 19 last year and we can see if EK actually make a better device. I can save you trouble watching me I would say that EK wins in the end, but if you know why I tell you why. So few things That I would like to compare and a few things that I still like more about Aqua computers that I love dearly and I use it for many years in all my build any custom assemblies I do in the store for customers it's like this. So what I First of all, let's kind of pedal back. So what you get, let's look what it is first, then we can compare. Essentially from Aqua Computer, you just get two devices, the gouge with a little bottom portion that allows you to connect any kind of fitting, standard quarter G, threading on one side and this provision to connect the pump on the other side and the pump itself. So those two devices you get. With AK, you get a little bit same, but a little bit more. First of all, yeah, you have the same device, but with the added component to it as a ball valve. You also have a pump and a little extension, so you, you don't need to attach pump directly. To, you can, you still can, I believe, actually, but you also can attach it with, yeah. yeah with this little extension that can make things a little bit easier in uh, certain situations and also you have a male and male to male fitting that you can attach to the gouge and 
you can screw it into your component. So where a computer give you nothing, so you need to figure out how you connect to component yourself. So, but now if we look on each part step by step, a few things I like more about Aqua computer and other things I like more about EK and uh, we can balance things out. First of all, let's look on the most visual portion of it, the gouge. So you can see the gouge on Aqua computer is bigger and also its maximum, the very end of the scale is equal beginning of the green scale on a K. So on a K you can actually go more, but realistically you have to stay in a green zone, right? I think it's better to do it as aqua computer. The scale became kind of stretched, so any needle movement will be more visible on aqua computer than on a K. It also has a little bit more marks. So visually easier to read, and easy to spot any needle movement. So that's one thing. Second thing is, um, I remove this fitting. Second thing that I actually like, uh, dislike about Aqua computer, but I like about the K. So you see this, uh, this bottom portion is kind of cool design and stuff, but it's made of acetal. So it's unlikely you strip the threads on the quarter G portion of it for attaching fitting, although it can also wear off eventually. I can't say because I use a hack that I explain later. But other part where the pump is need to be connected, which is this portion is metal, this is a plastic. I can tell you when I got the Dr. Drop four years ago, I killed those threads in first 15 minutes and never use them. So essentially how I use the Dr. Drop right now, I completely strip them even more. So I just, instead of screwing pump into the body of the Dr. Drop, I kind of just put it in place, press it so the valve is open and, and I pump. And then I disconnect. Why I need to disconnect? Is because the pump is not air sealed. So if you keep, keep pump attached, you start losing air and your needle will be dropping and that's great actually I didn't read the manual properly and uh, four years ago whenever you first time doesn't matter what I did it's always was kind of leaking but in, in fact my system didn't leak the pump leaks right so I just give up and didn't use it and then I have to review it second time to tell how <laughs> the true story about the device with uh, how EK address the problem with the leaking pump and the fact that you have to detach it every time, which is kind of hassle, they put this ball valve in it. So you can attach your pump, you can pump the air, but instead of detaching every time, you can just turn the valve and it will fully seal the system. So, and it's kind of helpful because for example, you have a like really poorly attached fitting, right? And you need to like go down very fast. So you tighten up, and you need to pump a little bit more air. So obviously the need of attaching the attaching pump, it makes things much easier. So it's a really good idea that EK did include ball valve. I really like it. The fact that they include fitting, it's also nice, but I found that attaching the this thing, or oh, that thing, to the components always a hassle because it's kind of bulky thing. It's hard to align it. And also it's a little bit cumbersome process of uh, screwing it into device. For that reason, I actually using a sort of a hack that I created myself and um, it would be cool if just a EK copied it from me, then it will be totally awesome. But what I did, I essentially did two things. First of all, when you test component, let's say this little reservoir that we're going to use as a testing device, usually you always have a two ports open. For one device it's on, on it, but let's say if I test a sequence of couple devices, radiator plus reservoir, so one port will be on radiator, another port will be on on reservoir, So, but for simplicity we use just one device. You need to plug it with some sort of stop plug. I found that putting stop plug actually can be very kind of hurtful for, for your hands, and if you do it all the time, especially when you assemble a system, you already start losing skin on your hands very quickly. So to tighten it properly and squeeze your o-rings kind of hurt your fingers. So what I did, 
I took uh, the simple extender, 20 millimeter in my particular case, I put a stop plug on it and make it little kind of cylinder with dead end. And putting extender, because it's so big, it's so much less energy and less stress on your skin. So you can tighten it more than you tighten the stop plug with much less effort. So, so I always keep this little assembly thingy uh, next to my tester as a part of the, part of the uh, testing uh, set, if you will. So this is one part. Second part, I use, it's two colors because I already lost one portion of it, so I, I use different fitting. But essentially I use a quick disconnect from Beats Power. It's the type of disconnect that it's not closing when you open it up, it's just cylinder and male part with two rings, but you can connect them together and they create the same male to male type of fitting that they keep providing. But the beauty of it is you put permanently one portion of it. I usually put male because it's harder to for your hands to screw on the same like stop plug situation on my tester and I use cylinder portion which is bigger and easier to screw on. I just without any hassle you put it on your component so much easier than rotate the whole bloody thing together. So you put it on and uh, in order to make the test all you need just slide them together, you're done. You can pump, right? So that's really things that, that I would recommend you to improve the device and then it became just really perfect. Now, couple words about pump. So you see it's basically the same thing, but e EK didn't do it very well, unfortunately. So and I'll explain you why. So you can see that this pump has a, for our computer, has a much bigger portion that you hold because this part part you you pumping but this one you need to actually hold and uh, that grooves for your hands for your fingers it's big enough for size of your hands so when you pump everything comfortable and works really well with the K you have this portion it's very small metal cylinder not very nice to grip on to start with actually it's also smaller than my finger when I pump I I pump, punch my finger. So I, for that reason, I actually need to hold even not the full of it, I need to hold half of it, which makes it even more painful and, and pump it. And you know, like pump test device like this, it takes like three puffs. And if you have big system with the two reservoirs of this tall, you'll be freaking pumping for two minutes and it's better to have it comfortable. So ideally I would love to have aqua computer with big gouge, with aqua computer pump, but with uh, this valve thing, <laughs> like on a K, attached to it. But you know, it's not possible. For that reason, if I didn't have a device yet, I probably will go with a K just because it's less chances to Damage. I have a lot of customers who buy Dr. Drop experience this issue. So you either return it or just use it as I am, but it's kind of not very nice thing to do. Anyways, guys, that's all enough for today. I have one more cool item from IKEA I'll review next week, and you will find out then what it is. Thank you for watching. See you soon.